All right, guys, ready? Um, you know, really, all I can say is just really courageous performance by our guys. Really courageous performance. And I say that not in a way where I'm surprised, because I'm really not. You know, I've said this over and over about this group. This group is a team. And if you go back and you look at us throughout the season, there's been different guys at different times that have stepped up and made play from a place for us, from the first guy all the way down to the 13th guy. Um, and so, you know, I say courageous performance, not a, a sense of surprise. I say uh, courageous performance uh, in, in happiness for these guys because the way they, they, uh, they perform. Uh, I thought pretty good execution uh, by us down the end too with, uh, with fouling and, and keeping them from, uh, from getting a three uh, with a three-point lead. Chris, with, with Matt going down midway through the first half, just how big was this win from a character standpoint, especially here where it's tough for road teams usually to get it done? Yeah, it's, it's very tough for road teams to get it done here. This is a terrific program, uh, extremely well-coached team, and always a, a good team. And, and they're, you know, they're the measuring stick, you know? So, but in terms of what it says about our character, um, you know, it, it, it says that we're a team, what I had said previously, you know, and we need, we talk all the time about when we push your button, you gotta be ready to go and help us because the most important thing is the team and getting a win. Um, so, uh, you know, again, uh, not surprised by, by what we showed. James, 20 points, seven assists, 31 minutes off the bench. What was the message when, when Matt went down that inspired you guys to, to come back, especially in the second half when it looked like they were ready to drive away up 10 going into halftime? Uh, just to pick them up. Obviously it hurt us, but we stayed together, and that's the most important. Hey, Coach, there was a point in the second half, you're down six points, and all of a sudden you, you caught up and went and tied at 66 all, I think it was. What did you say at that point? Because from then on, you really seem to be driving the game. Uh, we just talked about keep grinding it out. You know, we, we didn't even, we talked in a huddle about let's not even pay attention to what the score is. Let's just play each game like it's, so each possession like it's its own game. You know, pay attention to each possession like it's its own game, whether it's offense or defense. Um, and I thought we really grinded, you know, and, um, you know, we, we, uh, we made plays when we had to. We got a lead and were able to play from in front down the end, and I thought that really helped us. Marvin, tw plus 12 on the boards, 49-37. You leading the conference in rebounds. How much has the hustle really picked up on this program for the last couple of years, and what's changed? Uh, you know, we, it's a group of guys that stayed together for two or three years. When I got here my freshman year, um, you know, a lot of guys just flip-flopping, a lot of guys transferred. This group stayed together, and we bonded over the summer. Every summer we bonded, and we got older. So mature, maturity has really played in the big factor. Chris, if you could follow up on that, how satisfying is this payoff now? 11 conference wins, still a couple more games to go before the tournament with this group. Well, they're all satisfying. You know, um, we talk about uh, embracing the work because it gets you achievement, and achievement is fun. You know, so they're all satisfying. Um, so we'll enjoy it, but then we're going to go back to work because we got another really tough game against another really good team at Manhattan. Any update on that? Uh, you know, I, I haven't, I really haven't had a chance to check on that. Um, so I, I couldn't give you an answer on that. I'm not sure. Margaret, how are you? Knowing doing? him, he's probably in the gym shooting right now. How are you feeling uh, going, taking those late free throws there? Um, one thing about me is I work on my game often and I shoot free throws after practice every time. And, you know, we, in practice, we do pressure free throws. So, you know, when you, in those moments, you just gotta be relaxed. You can't overthink it. This is something you do. I do this every day. So it's kind of muscle memory. So just step up and just get the next guy up. James, you've really evolved over the course of this season. What's sort of changed from the midpoint of the year that you've become a, you know, reliable scorer that you can step up? And so, um, just being confident. Um, the older people picking me up, even when I'm down, uh, going against them in practice every day, it made me it made me compete. So I feel like that's that's helping me. Was Matt saying things to you guys like on the sidelines yeah. there to sort of like yeah, help you get over it a bit? When, when when he got hurt, you know he was down, but you know we went over. It was a media, uh, yeah, it was a media timeout, and he was just there, and we just said we're gonna pick you up. Don't worry, we got you. We're gonna pick you up. So you know everything changes, and he know. 
he know that he's going to get better. I, we think he's going to get better fast, but this game was very important, and he knew that. So he kept on telling us, keep being aggressive and pick him off. Coach, it seemed like you were able to put pressure on Iona shooters from the outside. They didn't have a very good outside shooting day. They went inside. Was that kind of your, your defensive strategy? Well, I think whenever you play them, you got to try to limit the number of threes they take and make. I think they had six in the first half. I don't have stats in front of me, so I'm not quite sure what they made in the second half. Uh, I think we were a little bit better uh, in the second half. Um, and I thought we did a little bit better job in the second half of uh, – of keeping them from driving us to the basket. I thought the zone helped us maybe do that a little bit too. Um, and we did a, a fairly good job of, of guarding the three point line in that zone. Good. good. All right. Thanks, everyone.